Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for another saddle review. I have with me today probably the most unique saddle on the market, the JX3 Hybrid. And it's called the Hybrid because it's built differently than, than a lot of other saddles. It has extreme amount of comfort and yet it hangs and hunts much like your very typical saddle setup. So I'm just gonna pick it up here, show you kind of the basic design of it. Then we're gonna put it on the tabletop, do a tabletop review of it. I'm gonna show you all of its important features and talk about its specs a little bit. And then I'm gonna take it out in the yard, put it on the tree and show you exactly how to use the JX3 Hybrid. So here we go. The, the Hybrid is essentially two pieces. This first piece that you see right here it is basically a molded plastic back portion, okay? So it, it has backpack straps and a chest strap and you wear it much like you would a backpack. So it's got this rigid back frame and then if you flip it around, there is a mesh seat. Now the, the seat has some supporting webbing straps underneath but in a metal frame, but the seat itself is about 20 inches by 20 inches. And so the way it works, you, you put the saddle on, much like you would any kind of backpack or frame pack, something like that. Simple chest strap. There's also a waist strap that you can, you can do. Uh, you guys can see that. So waist strap, chest strap, and then you wear it into the woods, just like you would a backpack. And when you get to the tree, there, there's two straps on the back, and I'll show this to you more in the video, but you would unbuckle those two straps, and then essentially the seat portion of it flips down and, and you sit in it. So that's the basic overall design of the saddle. Let me put it on the table here, and I'll show you some of the features a little bit more specifically. Okay, so I've got the saddle here on the table, and I'm going to try to show you some of the features of it. What you see right here is the portion of the saddle that goes on your back. And so we've got the two shoulder straps right here on the front. You can see that they are, are padded quite nicely. There is a chest strap that, that goes around to secure them. Tons of adjustment on the chest strap. You'll notice on all the straps on the saddle, there's a lot of adjustment on the shoulder straps, tons of adjustment length, as well as webbing keepers on the end. Those are also on the leg straps. There, there's D-rings here that you can you know, put your GPS on or any number of, of other gadgets. The actual frame is kind of a really hard, stiff, molded plastic. And then it has this webbing wrapped around it. And you can see that webbing has a lot of give to it, a lot of flex but there's no pressure points. It's like completely basically hollow behind here and so that you're, you don't get any hot spots on your back which is a really, really nice feature. There's a kind of a little loop here at the top that you could hang the saddle from if you needed to but, but that's basically the back portion. When you go to wear the saddle, you just put it on like you would a typical backpack. Let me flip it around here and I will show you some of the features on the back side of it. So coming around to the back here, you see the, the seat portion of it. And to give you a few specifications, the, the JX3 in the configuration I have is 10 pounds and 5 ounces. And the seat portion is 20 by 20. So a lot of room. I, I'm pretty thin. And to be honest with you, I thought it probably could have been about 3 to 4 inches narrower. Um, but if you're a big guy, there's plenty of real estate here to work with. You'll notice these two straps that come up and hook onto the top uh, of the plastic frame with these, with these plastic buckles. You, you can see those right there. These are actually the leg straps, and so they serve two purposes. When you're walking into the woods and have the saddle on your back, they keep the seat in place. And then when you get to the tree, what you simply do is, is unclip both of those and then you want to make sure the seat will hang in place. At the top of the back frame, there are two, two small hooks here. And this seat is designed not only to be used as a saddle, but also to be used um, as a ground seat. And so there are three metal supports on the bottom of the seat. Let me flip this around so you can, you can see those. Um, there's two on the back. One right here, one right here, they're metal supports, and then there's one right here at the bottom. 
And so when you sit on the ground for turkey hunting or for mobile deer hunting, you're elevated a little bit. Your butt's not sitting right in the wet grass, which is nice. But when you're climbing the tree, you just want to make sure that this ground support right here hangs on those two hooks after you disconnect the leg strap and, it, and it, won't, it won't go anywhere. I haven't had a whole lot of problems with it with it falling out and I think even the newer models have have that hook extended a little bit. So that's kind of the seat portion of it. The top of the seat here you'll notice there is a little knurled knob and this this whale tail that pulls out and is probably about six inches long or so. Um, what that does, when you sit down and hang, it extends uh, probably, probably five to six inches, and it rests against the tree. So it pushes your knees away from the tree so that you're not pushing up against it. You don't have to wear knee pads with this saddle. And then you can simply pivot on this, this whale tail piece to move around the tree a little bit. And I'll show you that more once we get it outside. But um, once, you get, once you get to hunting height and you're ready to hook up, the saddle then swings underneath. I'll give you another look at the, look at the bottom, bottom of the saddle here. There's two webbing straps that, to support the seat. So a lot of comfort there. Everything's built, built well. The, the camel that's used on the back here is like a, I think it's a true timber. And uh, that's, that's done well. It's got a real soft finish to it looks good feels good coming around the front here kind of set the saddle up how it would be when you would sit in the tree so you've got your your leg straps here that you would obviously put around your legs and uh, and then you've got uh, your backpack straps the seat the bridge is a two-piece bridge and so one side comes out has a loop that you hook your tree tether to and then it has another loop and you can see the inside of all the loops are lined with a real fluorescent green which is nice and easy to see in low light but basically this bridge comes across and there's a second half to the bridge on the other side of the saddle and they just clip together with a carabiner and then it hangs like that so I'll show you that more in the tree. It'll be easier to understand, but just here on the tabletop, I want you to see a couple things about that. There's a lot of adjustment in this bridge, and so you, you can lengthen and shorten both sides of it to kind of change the pitch of the seat with this strap on either side. And then there's, there's a lot of attachment points on it. Let me just kind of change the angle of the camera here. You can see on both sides of the saddle, he's got built-in loops here along the bridge that you can, you can strap things to. There are little clips you can, you can hang bags from or water bottles or any number of different things, grunt calls, who, who knows what. Um, your phone case from, from right there, which is super, super nice. The um, saddle comes with two two ropes and they're both about half inch in diameter and they're attached on the point of the saddle once again with those same kind of clips but uh, this right here is the lineman's belt I believe he, he sends it with black diamond positron carabiners and accessory cord is your, your prusik loop so it's done well the, the ends are burned one of the things I really really like about the tether, let me just disconnect it from the other side here. One of the things I like about this tether is he's included this ball, and the ball works really, really well. So you run your tether around the tree, cinch the ball up against the the splice, and it stays put. It doesn't want to fall off the tree. So so that's really, really nice. So you guys that have saddle hunted much know what I'm talking about when your tether's wanting to slip down the tree. And that, that little ball does a phenomenal job of keeping it on the tree. So for the most part, that's kind of the features of, of the saddle in a quick nutshell. We're going to take it out in the, the tree and show you a little bit about how it works. But the construction of this thing is, is phenomenal. And I'll tell you, before we even get into the tree, uh, you won't find a more comfortable saddle on the market. It's just like sitting in a lazy boy and 
it, so for that it's got a lot 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 going for it um, but the build construction is well, the stitch done well, the stitching is phenomenal, a lot of adjustability in it. You can see here on the, the um, waist belt, you've got your main buckle, tons of adjustment with webbing keepers again, which are really, really nice. The lineman belt loops on either side have the green fluorescent, so they're easy to see. They are a little bit narrow. I wish they were somewhat wider, but uh, but they work. They work, you know. And then your leg straps come up and, and hook onto the waist belt as well, just like that. So um, those are most of the features. Let's get it in the tree, and you can see a little bit more of how, how it works. Okay, guys, I've got the JX3 hybrid on, much like I would wear it in the woods, and I'm going to show you exactly how I would use it when I got to the tree. So once I get to the tree, the very first thing I do is reach around and unclip the leg straps from the top of the saddle. Once I unclip those, they swing down between your legs. You just grab them and they're, doesn't matter which one goes where, you just hook them in to your waist belt like that. Maybe cinch them down a little bit and you're ready to go. Of course, you'd use your lineman's belt. It's, it's girth hitched on one side. You put it around the tree, hook it over here, and, and it would work just like any other lineman's belt. I do like that the lineman belt loops are pretty far forward, right on the point of my hips, so they're easy to get to. But let me show you. Let's imagine I climb the tree. I get to the platform now. Once I'm on my platform, all I have to do is grab the back of the seat and flip it down like that so I flip it down so that it's underneath me and then you can see the bridge just is right there so remember it's two two different pieces and they just clip together with the carabiner I'll spin around to show you that tighten the carabiner down the bridge is ready to go flip it into your, your tether much like any other saddle and, and then you just put your weight into it. I'm going to go a little bit higher here. So put your weight into it. All you've got to do next to be ready to hunt is loosen this knurled knob, pull out that whale tail or fork, whatever you want to call it, and put it against the tree. And you're ready to go. And you, you just sit back in there like this. That's all there is to it. The JX3 Hybrid is very easy to set up. There's not a lot of fiddle factor to it. After you get the pitch of the back adjusted using these straps the first time, it, it goes right to where you want it every time. So no fiddle factor. doesn't become un uncomfortable after a while. You don't get hip pinch or anything like that like you would in a traditional saddle. You just simply sit here. And you can see how that little fork pushes your knees away from the tree, so there's no need for knee pads with this saddle at all, which is, which is really, really nice. Those loops are really easily accessible. If you've got your gear strapped on there, they're, they're right there in arm's reach. Um, easy to reach these clips where you hook up your ropes, so, so that's, that's nice. Um, let me show you a little bit about how, how it works. You know, if I, if I was bow hunting, for example, I've just by sitting here got pretty easy shots just with a little spin on that fork from you know that would probably be 10 30 all the way back here to you know 5 30 with very very minimal movements now if I wanted to shoot to 12 1 o'clock maybe even 2 o'clock I don't even have to move my feet all I do is pivot that fork on the tree spins and and then I'm shooting, I'm shooting 1, 12 o'clock very, very easily. You can also use this more like a traditional saddle when you're positioning for a shot. So what I mean by that is, is I can come out here on the platform, kind of stand up straighter, and it rides into my back, and, and I can stand up and shoot. And I can move around the tree, much like I would any other saddle and try to get a shot. Now, I don't usually use the platform with the JX3. I found it easier just due to the design of this to use a, a ring of steps. And so, typically I carry in my ring of steps and strap it around and then it's easy to, to move around 
you know, move around the whole tree. And I, I'll kind of show that to you, but I would just position around like this, get that whale tail positioned into the tree, and then I can shoot over here to three o'clock, two o'clock, one o'clock, without without many problems at all. So so that's pretty easy. Um, this saddle I used a little bit this fall with with people that were new to hunting. My brother hadn't ever hunted from a saddle before. He showed up at my house in the evening, so it was dark outside. I showed him how to use this in the garage. The next morning we went in blind, picked a tree, climbed it, and he hooked up and hung in this saddle and killed his very first buck from it with a crossbow. So it, it was really easy for beginners to get the hang of. He said it was comfortable the whole time. He, he did not find anything inconvenient about it. I have really enjoyed the JX3 for exactly that, hunting with a crossbow and hunting with a gun. Um, when I'm hunting with a gun, I put the gun right here on the bridge. It sits there right in front of me. All I gotta do, grab it, and I can often use the, the, the tree or the bridge as some kind of a support as I'm trying to aim. So that works, that works really, really well. So the JX3 is a rather unique saddle setup. It's not gonna be for everybody, but if you're a gun hunter, or if you're a guy who, who walks short distances on private lands to preset locations, maybe you've got sticks or bolts that go up the tree and you just want one saddle to hunt all those from, I'd recommend this for you. This may not be the ideal thing for the guy who's gotta walk a mile back into the woods because it does weigh 10 and a half pounds almost. And then you've got your backpack and your climbing method on top of that and all of a sudden you're, you're 20 pounds. And if you're a guy that's getting into saddle hunting to cut down weight, that's not gonna do it. But for private land sits, all day sits, especially in the rut, for rifle hunters, this is, I think, one of the best options on, on the market. It's very stable, very comfortable. And we all know that when you're sitting there and you're comfortable, you're not moving as much. So that's a big advantage. I hope this gives you a few ideas about how to use this saddle. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to jx3outdoors.com and find out more there. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you again in a future review.